everyone and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. This week I've decided to do a few reviews on different drawing books that I've acquired over time and I know that this isn't specifically colouring, it does involve colouring in some elements but it is more about drawing and this is kind of off the back of Johanna Basford's Inky Wonderlands book and her Inky Art School which has just finished and by the way if you haven't seen me post about that very much over the last week it's because I've been ridiculously busy and my husband's been in hospital and things have happened uh, but I will be catching up on Joanna's Inky Art School very very soon. So yeah, I thought I'd just get all the books that I've collected about drawing over time and review those this week so that you can have a little bit of something different on the channel just temporarily. Now this is the first one I'm going to be reviewing. It's called Journal with Purpose and it's by Helen Colebrook. So in this book are over a thousand motifs, alphabets and icons to personalise your bullet or dot journal or any kind of planner or journal that you use. So it's basically teaching you how to draw all these very, very simple, very minimalist uh, little drawings that you might do in your planner, that you might just do in your sketchbook. You know, you might just do it for fun. I think it's really cool to learn how to draw something that's very simple and very easy but you know if one of your children asks you you know can you draw something for me you've always got something on hand when you've learned these little bits of drawings and like I've said they are so simple but they really are effective like you know what they are straight away so it doesn't take an awful lot of effort and you don't need a skill in drawing because I definitely haven't um so let's open it up now the book itself first of all is it's really nice size actually I'm not sure entirely what size it is I haven't got a ruler with me at the moment but it's a nice sort of smallish size it's not as large as A4 and it has rounded corners so it, it has a nice kind of aesthetic to it it's got a beautiful kind of mint green uh, colour on the cover and then a nice blush pink on the spine and then on the back you've just got a bit of information there about what's inside so opening the book first of all you've got your title page and you've got the contents page so we've got a few introductory pages at first and then you've got your design library as Helen has called it her name is Helen isn't it <laughs> I always get mixed up with names um so you've got banners and scrolls speech bubbles arrows hearts feathers dream catchers spring summer autumn winter all things you know cooking accessories clothes travel entertainment mandalas patterns it is absolutely packed full of very very simple and easy to draw little doodles so let's get straight into it we've got the introduction page here it's saying that this book is designed to help you add simple creative elements to your journal pages and as i've said there are over a thousand different designs in this book so it's saying that one of the great things about journaling is that there are absolutely no rules. You start with your empty notebook and over time you turn it into a special record of your life. And I really love these full colour photos that are included in the book as well. Really um, gives it an edge. So it says, why journal? And it's giving you lots of reasons that scientifically it's been proven medical benefits uh, come from keeping a journal, for both your mental and even physical health as well. Um, and it's just about being creative and doing something just for you, something very personal and unique. So we've come on to tools and materials now. So these are the tools that Helen uses. Now, don't forget, just like with Joanna's Inky, Inky Art School, you don't need, you know, very expensive, very fancy tools. As long as you've got a pen, that's pretty much all you need, along with your book, obviously. A pen and a book, pen and paper, that's it. And um, these are just kind of little recommendations that Helen has used and enjoys using. So you don't don't feel you have to buy all this is what I'm saying. But you've got different things you can use to really make your planner pop. You've got different highlighters, different coloured pens, different pencils, even paints and gel pens. Washi tape as well. I've got loads of washi tape in my drawer. Um, little binder clips and, you know, just little bits and bobs. So getting started with a bullet journal or planner, you'll often see that with a bullet journal, it has these dotted pages because it makes it easier for you to draw geometrical shapes when it, you've got a dotted grid page. 
and you'll see when you look on Instagram people's different planner spreads they always have a really really nice double page to start the month so as you can see this is November and Helen's used really autumnal very burnt and woodly woody <laughs> wood woodish woodish I don't know what I'm trying to say uh woodsy colors uh to try and you know give the impression that we're in the autumn time and it's very very simple but really effective that's the that's the thing about these bullet journals very minimalist but um, they're really, really nice to look at. So this is what your typical month opener would look like. Then she shows you how she does a habit tracker. So you've got all the days of the month across the top, and then you've got all of your habits down the side. So reading, go for a walk, drink water, meditate, things like that. And you would add a little line when you've done it every day, and you get a nice little pattern out of it. And it also shows you where you've, you know, where you've not filled it in is, is probably where you let things slide a little bit. But, you know, we're all human. We all do. So gratitude and goals. This is another thing that you often find in planners and bullet journals. Um, writing down everything that you feel grateful for to keep you motivated, to keep you positive. And then your goals, again, just to... Um, I guess look back on as well when you when you're in the future you look back on your planners and see what it was you wanted to achieve see if you have achieved them and again very very simple but really really nice way of setting that out onto the page so here we're finally into the design library we start off with banners and scrolls and I'm going to be showing you a few that I've drawn from this book so this is a Rhodia dot pad that I had with this book it came from cult pens in a little pack of all different materials that you can use now i'm really gutted about this because cult pens were giving away this pack free with this book initially but it went so fast stock just flew out and i didn't even have chance to review it while the packs were still available but you can get all of these different things on cult pens still it's just a shame that i couldn't show it to you when the pack was still available um but yes this rhodia dot pad is just a dotted journal as you can see and uh, I've already started going through some of the uh, different tutorials from this book. So banners and scrolls, the format of the book is that you'll get a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to do the basic banner and then you'll get loads of different ideas for you to play around with. So as you can see I've followed the tutorial and done the basic banner. I've then gone on to do a few more of the different banners uh, as you can see. Some of them turned out better than others, this one didn't exactly go to plan but you practice, you learn. Next, we've got some borders and corners. So again, you've got your four-step exercise and then your idea pages. So here are all my borders. Really, really simple. As I've said, you don't need any kind of degree in art to do this whatsoever. Here's a few more. We've got another exercise here for a nice scalloped page header or border or whatever you want to do with it. We've then got speech bubbles, which I think I've done a few of as well. So let me just check. Yep, here are my speech bubbles. So you've got your basic one and then some more fancier ones here. We've then got arrows, which I did a few of. You can see I've been using a, um, a Tombow that came with the pack, which is Tombow number 026. I really love it. It's like a deep mustardy colour. And it looks really autumnal. I love it. Um, so yeah, arrows, loads of different types of arrows. Then we've got feathers. I don't think I got as far as feathers. Let me just check. No, I didn't. But I did do some lines. So these are just page dividers or page breakers, whatever you want to call them. Very, very simple, you know, just draw a line and put some hearts along it. But it's like I said, it's the watchword for this book is simple but effective. They really are. So that's my little go at these anyway. But let's go through the book. So feathers. Then we've got different types of hearts. I particularly love this one that's like a zipped up shirt. It's really kind of fun and interesting. All the different ways you can create a heart. Look at this apple heart, for, for example. Like it just it gets your creative juices flowing. It gets your imagination working. Love these dream catchers as well. Again, you know, look at the step by steps. They're very, very simple. Then we've got flowers. So we're moving on to, you know, things that you would find in Joanna's Inky Art School. Um, but again, you can use all different kinds of books and all different tutorials to develop your little arsenal of things that you can draw, basically. So more flowers. Then we've got cacti and potted plants. 
so little succulents and things that you'll see often in modern calligraphy sort of spreads and planners then we've got planner icons so these are the kind of convenient things that you would need to put in your planner for um, plotting out your appointments and things like that so you've got shopping trolley coffee cup an alarm computer you've got the different weather symbols here as well what else then we have leaves to go along with your flowers We've got nature, so we've got mushrooms and plants and clovers and little snails and mini beasts. We've got hiking, so if you're going camping, these will definitely apply to you for your planner. So say you're having a week camping, you might just draw a few of these little symbols across your planner. And again, even colouring them in is easy because all you need to do, like for example this flask here, you can see that it's been coloured with a very light blue and then a slightly darker blue just along the edge for shading. But, you know, it, it works. Simple, but it works. Spring. So we've got all these different things for the spring months. You've got bees and flowers and gardening tools. Then we've got summer. We've got paddling pool, ice cream, barbecue, pineapple, uh, sunshine, fries, drinks, fruit. Autumn. You've got, obviously, your pumpkins and your... Um, scarecrows and all of your halloweeny type bits ghosts and spiders and cauldrons but you've also got your cozy fireplace your slippers owls and you know just really i love autumn it's, it's my favorite month sort of aesthetically winter we've got snowflakes and bells and holly and christmassy stuff knitted hats and mittens and scarves and baubles and beautiful hot chocolate with cream on top Stationery. So these are, again, back to your planner icons. These are things that you would use probably more as a something to... I've forgotten the word that I'm trying to say, but you would use them as a convenience drawing. So things that you would need to remember, things like that. So stationery items. Then you've got candles. And I love this because it's all different candle lanterns as well. Sort of the oldie worldy traditional lanterns and candlesticks. You've even got, which is really cool, a modern modern wax burner, tea light burner. <clears throat> so we've got sea life next to learn how to draw very simple different fish and marine life. Then we've got crystals, very, very um, popular at the moment to draw crystals and geometric simple shapes. We've got teepees, which is a kind of a funny, odd in, uh, inclusion into the book, but I like it. It's cute. So we've got fitness and exercise, again, something for your convenience. So you can, if you're going to the gym, you can use any of these different exercise icons. Arts and crafts, we've got knitting, um, what else, sewing, tailoring, and of course, painting. And I don't see coloured pencils on here. That's a definite admission that should have been in. <laughs> um, we've got hot glue guns, so if you do a lot of crafting... You know, very, very simply drawn. Cooking, we've got mixers and beaters and rolling pins and cheese graters and aprons and scales and all that good stuff. Clothing, all different types of jackets, trousers, tops. More here, skirts, bikinis, shorts. Accessories, we've got bags and bracelets, jewellery, hats, things like that. Loads of different foods. We've got tomatoes, strawberries, bananas, cookies, croissants, jellies, uh, gingerbread men, lollies, sausages, eggs, um, tacos and burritos. Then we've got drinks. So milk, orange juice, coffee, teapots, cafetiers, um, corkscrew even, and a barrel. So if you're going to a keg party, I think they have those in America, don't they, when you're a teenager, keg parties. Uh, transport, so we've got cars, buses, we've even got uh, some sort of gliding machine here. Uh, what else? Bicycles, tractors, submarines, uh, carts and trams and all sorts of stuff. Is there anything missing? I was going to say gondola, but you could use this as a gondola, couldn't you? Travel and holidays, so when it's summer months and you're going away, you'll need to use these little icons in your planner. We've got flip-flops and buckets and spades, life rings... Uh, what else? We've got a little globe, we've got palm trees, passports, suitcases, aeroplanes, cameras, maps. Loads of different butterfly styles. Butterflies come in all shapes and sizes, don't they? So this is just giving you a little selection. Then we've got houses, very simple, um, blocky, easy to draw houses. Again, very, very simple shading as well. 
entertainment so if you're going out for the evening you've got a date night or a night out with your friends you might use these icons we've got popcorn we've got clapping hands we've got play button we've got film reels and uh, microphones we've got 3d glasses and film chairs directors chairs film tickets and stage little stage set up there little masquerade mask music all different instruments guitars we've got um, maracas even we've got a triangle we've got a harp we've got um keyboard we've got a banjo um loads of different stuff floral wreaths so again you'll have been learning about this in joanna's book but here's even more floral wreaths for you to get your teeth into you can never have too many different styles of things that's what i love you can go and watch joanna's videos and buy her book you can buy this book you can buy a million other books all with very different and unique styles of drawing in them so this is homeware things you'd find around your house cabinets sofas furniture soft furnishings uh, lamps and lighting then we've got space different planets ufos rockets stars constellations and aliens celebrations so if you've got birthdays anniversaries different uh, events that you're going to throughout the year weddings things like that all of these will um, go really nicely in your planner we've even got a balloon dog and all that they've done is just add a few white lines and that's made it look squeaky and and shiny and 3d very very simple 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 sports so we've got goals basketball rugby um american football which is i think this is american football like rugby it is isn't it i don't know uh skating and big gloves um flags and dartboards and trophies and all the things that you would associate with sports different patterns as well so say you want to try your hand at zentangling or just filling a space in your planner that doesn't have anything on it and it's blank and boring with a bit of a pattern more patterns there as well to choose from then we've got mandalas so mandalas look very difficult but they are actually quite easy and they follow a simple structure so you start off with your circle you add in very small additions you know each time and you you end up with a mandala so very simple to do there's lots of different ways of doing it as well as you can see it's all plotted out here step by step cursive fonts so we've even got handwriting included so modern calligraphy and handwriting is really really popular at the moment especially going with bullet journal spreads so it's teaching you how to uh, sort of cheat at doing these cursive fonts so very simple and then you know to thicken it up and make it look like it had been done with a calligraphy pen you would just add in some thicker lines on the downstroke and I think that's kind of what she's trying to accomplish by showing us different lettering here so we've got block letters as you can see she's thickened the stalk of the d just to make it look a little bit more interesting you would do that now we've got decorated lettering which is my favorite it's really cute so basically you would draw your tiny little simple flower and then you would do your block lettering around it very sweet now here we go this is what i was talking about the faux calligraphy so you can see that you would do your um general letter and then you would thicken it up by adding a line on the downstroke so when you're doing calligraphy when you go down on a letter your line gets thicker and when you go up it tapers to thin and this is just how to to cheat at it really so you draw it first and then you add in the thicker line we've then got bounce lettering which is another thing you see quite often and it's just it's just a really funky fun way of lettering it just looks a bit more bouncy than the usual letters and then we've got about the author so this is Helen herself and it's saying she didn't think of herself as creative until she found her thing which was creative journaling and that began her blog journal uh, her blog journal with purpose which is journalwithpurpose.co.uk if you want to go and have a look all of the different suppliers and brands that she likes are all listed here and then you've got an index of everything that was in the book and that is the end we've got a copyright page there so it is a really thick very very um comprehensive book full of all different line drawings i don't think you could uh, think of anything else to go in this what did i say there was no coloring pencils or coloring imagery so helen if you do another edition we would like some coloring imagery please um and yes that's the book so i'll be leaving the link in the description where you can get that from cult pens it's fantastic it's just another addition to 
um, all of your different drawing materials if you are trying to get into how to draw very easily and you know without needing a degree so again links in the description for that and then I'll just show you the things that I got with the little pack just in case you want to go ahead and buy them or buy some of them to go with your journal with purpose so let's have a look we of course got that Tombow pen 026 we also got an Edding Profi pen 0 0.1 so this is a very fine pen that you would use for your drawings that's the one that I used yeah, it's the one that I used for my drawings in the Rodia book. We also got a Pentel point liner, but this one's 0 0.05, so this is really, really fine. Let's open it up and have a look. This is for your very small details, so hopefully, I don't know whether that's going to, let me see, hang on. Is that focusing? Hopefully it is. So yes, there we go. I think I finally figured out how to focus properly on my camera, so that's good. Um, these are adhesive page markers. So if you've got your journal, for example, say this was my journal, and I wanted to quickly flip to a page, I would just have a little tab that stuck out, and that's what these are. And they're really cute and funky. We've got a panda, rainbow, sprinkles, and unicorns. We've then got this thing, which is a map head highlighter but it's a roller and I've never seen these before let's give it a go because I haven't actually used it yet so it's a really odd looking thing it's got a rubberized texture on the body and it is it's a roller let's check it out so oh wow so it makes a really funky little pattern so again let me just see if it's gonna focus and you can see it makes a pattern so instead of just using a boring old highlighter and just writing your lines this actually patinates it is patinates a word it is now um but yeah that's really cool really i've never seen anything like that it's very original okay so then we've got a statler pigment liner again in 0 0.5 but these are colored so i think you can get these in several different colors i'll just bring you the nib so that you can see and we'll focus in so it's, it looks a bit thicker, but it is a 0 0.5. Let's have a little go with it. So, yep, feels nice and smooth to draw with, as does, by the way, the edding. But this is a bit thinner. It does say it's a 0 0.1 and that's a 0 0.5. So, yeah, it is thicker. Um, then we had the Pentel point liner, which is the really thin one. Why am I writing edding? Pentel. Then we got to try the Winsor & Newton 0 0.1 fine liner. This is a water resistant non-fading pigment ink. Winsor & Newton. Very, very fine. And the thing that I like about this, if you just have a look at the end, is that the nib is really long and that means that when you're drawing you can actually see what you're drawing so for example say I'm just using a normal fine liner you've got your fingers right down at the end and you can't really see sort of a good overview of what you're drawing but this is made longer for that reason so you've got all that room around there to see exactly where you're going and what you're doing so that's good then we've got this pilot friction fine liner so this is really cool because if I just write the word pilot, you've got this little rubberized end and it is a pen, it's ink, but you can erase it. So for all of you that have got planners, paper planners, and you're always messing it up or, you know, going wrong and having to scribble out, get yourself a friction fine liner because it's a pen that you can uh, erase. And I think they come in different colors as well. This is an Edding Doodlers Glitter. It's not Edding. Why did I say edding? Zebra. <laughs> Keep trying to say edding. It's a zebra doodler's glitter. So let's have a look. Ooh. So it's a fine glitter pen. I'll bring it up to camera so you can see. Zoom. So, there we go. So it's really, really sparkly. Packed with glitter. And then finally, we have the Faber Castell Metallic in Very Nice. So it's a nice little name for the name. Uh, Faber, oh I love this, Castell, oh I'm going to have to get more of these for sure. So this is a metallic marker, but it's quite fine and thin for you to use to write with. And if I just zoom it in, you can see it's got that metallic sheen, hopefully you can see that. Really, really nice. 
and I'm guessing they come in all different colours as well so I'm going to have to be on the lookout for those. We also got a little ruler with a scalloped edge so that's really fun. Let me grab that again. So you can do a nice little wavy line as well as a straight one. And the final thing that was included is this washi adhesive tape which I haven't opened yet so we'll just give it a look. And as I've said all these things are available on cork pens. Maybe in the future they might do something like this again and I'll be able to get word to you quick before they all sell out. So washi tape is basically um, it's a tape but it's not as sticky as normal tape so it can be removed without ripping the page and you can use it to decorate your pages you can use it to go over mistakes you can use it for all sorts and it rips very easily as well so you don't need scissors so you would just stick it in your planner say there or whatever and then you can just take it off without ripping your page so I've got loads and loads of different types of washi tapes um, you can get them in all different patterns let me just show you actually uh, here we go so these are all my washi tapes. You can get them in glitter. You can get them in all different patterns, shapes, sizes, thicknesses. You can even get little Disney ones. Um, hopefully you can see this. Yeah, you can get Disney ones. You can get fabric tape. So it's actual fabric. You can get these borders, which actually come off as a, a pre-cut border. I'm not going to get it out because it'll take me forever. Um, yeah, so there's loads of different washi tapes. Planning and things is something I'm just just getting into very very slowly as you saw with my digital planner review I'm, I'm quite okay with that because I can just press delete and, and it's gone where I get a bit nervous is when I have to create something myself and I get worried that it's all gonna you know go wrong but anyhow these tools and this book will really really help you if you're wanting to start your planning diary whatever journey your journal journey and uh, I hope you've enjoyed looking at it today and uh, let me know in the comments I know it's not something I usually really do but as I've said this week I'm going to be doing a few more of these little how to draw books and things and I hope you enjoy it don't forget I'm going straight back to colouring I'm not you know becoming a journal channel but I just thought it'd be a bit fun but interesting and I'll stop waffling now links are in the description thank you for watching and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire